This is my 2018 Tacoma. Today I'm going to be installing this HID kit here from Morimoto. I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything. Uh, just giving honest opinion on it. Uh, but I will say these guys have excellent customer service, so you should definitely holler at them. If you're looking for a HID kit or they have all sorts of lighting options, but anyways, so we're gonna get right into this. Looks like there's a lot of stuff here, but it's really an easy setup. Not a whole lot here. Uh, just, just a little relay, a couple little harnesses, um, ballasts, and um, yeah, and your, uh, your bulbs here, so. Let's uh, get started. All right, so I got stuff kind of strung out here and putting together a little bit of a game plan. So this is the relay harness, basically the the majority of the work you're gonna do in my mind. Um, got a couple different leads here. You got this uh, shorter ballast lead. So whatever side your, your battery's on, in my case, it's on the driver's side. Um, you know, you would most likely mount this in that area because you're also gonna have your OEM input there. And um, you got these these leads. Now, if your battery is farther away, these are pretty long leads. So, I mean, realistically, if you wanted to, I mean, you could probably cut these down. I'll probably do it in the future. Right now, I'm not going to. I'll just make them look pretty and uh, kind of tucked away. And then you got this other long lead here, which is the ballast for the passenger side in my case. So, we'll kind of get that routed. And like I said, in my mind, that's probably the... The majority of your work and the rest of this stuff's all pretty just i mean everything's plug and play for the most part here but um yeah just straightforward so you got some igniters here and on the bulbs in my case the uh instructions didn't call for this guy right here and so on there it says you know if you like it has this little grommet here so if you're gonna do a uh if you, yours is an internal, so like say if the back of your headlights have that cap on it to, to access the bulb, then this is what this grommet's for. And you would drill that out and stuff this in there, and then that way your everything's kind of sealed off and, you know, nice. As where with mine, my bulbs are directly on the outside of the, the housing, so I don't need a grommet. I don't have a cap or anything like that, and I don't need these wires for this installation. So instead of leaving the grommet on there, on the instructions, it actually says to cut these wires and just pull them through, leave the grommet on. And that's what you would do if you had a uh, installation with that cap. And then you would want to, you know, I'd, I mean, if it was me, I'd probably put a little bit of silicone on the two holes that you leave. But in my case, I don't need any of this stuff. So I just took a razor blade, cut it, as you can see, take your time, um, you know, so you don't cut the, the little... Uh, um, I don't know, this little cover or sheath or whatever that's, you know, on these lines to prevent chafing and stuff. So, yeah, so that's what we'll do on both of these. As you can see, this one is still completely intact. Um, I will go ahead and cut those off and then it'll basically be narrowed down to just, you know, this stuff is nothing. And yeah, just this stuff. And like I said, after we kind of get this routed here, it's pretty straightforward, man. All right, so I'm under here looking at um, which way I'm going to run this thing. I was originally going to try and run it over there from the corner. So mount the relays over there in the corner and then kind of be nice and tucked away. And then run across and then to this light um, with, with this long lead here. But that's going to be pretty tight. I mean, if I was to go in and you know, like cut the little bit of heat shrink to have on here and add a little bit. I probably could have stretched it and made it. Uh, but it really, for all it's, all it is, it's not really worth it. So what I decided to do was uh, right here, there's this, uh, this little cover here. And uh, let's see if I can throw this on here. It's just got those little pop rivet type little uh, clip things. So this goes like this, right? And um, you got the one, two, three, and then I think there's four on the bottom. Yeah, four across the bottom. Uh, so you just pop those guys out. It's just these right here. Nothing super fancy, just these little pops. Uh, if you look under where these rivets are, there's these are these little uh, these little clips. There's this channel here, and it's it's braced on this end. 
and on this end but i think you could kind of just jump in you know under here and then my plan is is to uh if you take this guy off you can see you know if you to lay it like that you can see that there is some bigger holes kind of like along the way so basically my plan is is to take this off run the wiring up into this channel and it's it this is all open i mean as far as i can tell filling you know it's just open so i'm thinking that i should be able to just run a zip tie around through here and zip tie this uh this little this this lead or no that that one this one right here um through this channel that would stay nice and clean be secure um pretty safe and uh yeah and then drop it out on this side <clears throat> and then another thing that's nice about this little channel is i can shorten this lead up so obviously that lead's going to be really long and since it has a clip on the end of it i mean you could if you wanted to cut it down and resolder and do all that crap but i don't really care too so i'm gonna just kind of double it over and at the points that i zip tie maybe like right here in the center i don't know maybe on this end or both double it over a little bit and just shorten it up a little bit zip tie it and it'll be nice and secure up in there and uh covered so you know you won't see it so right here you're gonna have 10 10 remove this and then you'll be able to get the the bulb out of the housing and uh do your little conversion there and see if we can't find a place to put the ballast over there and uh yeah and then so i'm probably going to work backwards i'm probably going to start right here would be the easiest i think and then get everything hooked up and then just slowly start working my way over there but all right let's do it all right so i got this harness ran across the uh radiator support here um through this channel and um it's hidden pretty nice so you can't really see too much of it and then i'm gonna go ahead and run these uh relays i just bent the the little ear over on this and um, I'm just bolting it up right here on top of the the battery bracket. And then I also took this, uh, this is just a piece of metal that I had. Um, so I don't know if you can do something kind of similar to it, but I, I cut it and bent it in such a way that I'm gonna actually just hang the ballast off this. Cause I, did, I didn't want to drill any holes or anything like that. And to kind of keep it somewhat clean and upright, I figured this would be the best way. Um, so I got all the harness tidied up right here. Everything's nothing cut to length, but kind of zip tied in place. And then over here, I just used an existing hole and uh, I mounted the ballast to a piece of aluminum. Uh, I actually just kind of traced it out on a uh, license plate and then I cut it out and this is an existing hole. And then I just found a, you know, a bolt to and a nut to put through here and that way it's nice and clean and to kind of give you an idea of how I'm doing this so right here I have just license plate and it's nothing pretty but I uh, just traced it cut it out and then these guys just go right on here you know like so and I just zip time in place and then that gives me somewhere to mount it from and you know keep it somewhat clean also keeping the ports here facing down so no water or anything like that can get in them and, and actually set uh, but yeah so that's pretty much that so i'm gonna get this guy mounted up on this bracket here <clears throat> and up here there's a little bit more wiring and stuff so on the the radiator support so there wasn't too much room to really mount it and with me putting the relays here you got a really short, uh, let's see here, the the ballast the, that comes out of the relays here to the ballast, it's pretty short. So you're kind of limited, and I wanted to keep it somewhat neat. So we'll get that thrown together, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And then, yeah, basically after that, uh, I'll kind of zip tie the igniters up and keep everything somewhat clean and uh, throw the bulbs in. All right, so here's the ballast, just zip tied to this license plate. Nothing fancy, just basically, you know, to mount it up and save me from having to drill holes or zip tie it to something stupid. So um, what I got going on here is I got these relays. I just bent this ear over and uh, hooked it to the uh, support or the bracket for the uh, 
uh, battery here. And, and then I took this piece of metal and bent it. And uh, so I have it set up to where this guy will just kind of mount on the end of this bracket here. You can, there you can kind of see that little ear hanging out there. And it'll just mount from this hole here. And yeah, so I'm gonna slap that on there, show you what it looks like when it's done. And then we're gonna get these bulbs put in. All right, here it is all put together. Kind of, like I said, not the prettiest thing, but it will definitely work. I mean, it's nice because I don't have to worry about these things. Uh, if they get hot, these ballasts, and they typically do, um, I don't have to worry about it uh, getting too hot on anything. It's got plenty of ventilation around it. Everything's suspended pretty nice right there. And like I said, it looks pretty clean, all hooked up. So now that we got that, we're going to wipe down these bulbs real quick and I'll go ahead and swap them out and see see what it looks like. All right, so these are 55K. You can definitely see that it matches the DRLs a lot better um, opposed to what the normal halogen color is. And then I, I left it in the, the halogen in the passenger side. So you can kind of, I mean, the camera never really does it that much justice, but you can kind of see the difference here. I mean, well, there is actually a pretty noticeable difference on camera, but yeah, a hell of a lot better in my opinion. And then this is just on my wall in the garage here, but you can see the, the color difference. This is an insanely brighter. Um, like I said, the, the camera doesn't really do it too much justice, but I'll uh, go back to back with the videos of the halogens and these HIDs. But like I said, I, I was originally going to go with LEDs up here, but the HIDs, man, you just can't beat the throw. Uh, they can they can match the LEDs can match the the brightness, but they just don't throw the light as far as the as the thing here. So, and I'm only running these in my low beams, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and swap the other side over, get that bulb put in, and then I'll go to the same spot where I took the original video of the. Uh, just the halogens, everything stock, and then we can kind of run it back and see what it looks like. You can see that yellow, yellowish from the halogens. All right, this is the stock low beam right here with the halogens, um, all stock. It's it's insane the uh, how much brighter these are than the uh, stock lights, but it's a little windy outside but you can kind of get an idea of how well they match the DRLs now. I mean, it's on better. I'm definitely pleased with them, um, definitely. But yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.